Hi, my name is Michelle Gutierrez. Okay. I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah. And uh, my fight record is three and one with two Perfect. TKOs. Perfect. Yeah. My name is Felice Herrig. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Okay. And my ring name is Little Bulldog. Okay. And why your nickname, your fight name then? Um, my nickname, I got my ring name because of my tenacity in the ring. Like I'm a I'm a brawler. Like I just like to get in there and mix it up and like move forward and um, when I was an amateur kickboxer, my okay. coach was like, Elise, you're like a bulldog. You just want to get in there and, and you just move forward. You never want to move back. Mm -hmm. And my boyfriend at the time was like, yeah, she's like a bulldog. <laughs> a little bulldog. And it just kind of kind of stuck ever since. My ring name yeah. is La Diablita, which yeah. means little devil girl in Spanish. Okay. I'm sure you all know, you know that, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I got my name. Um, my first boxing coach was Hispanic. Okay. as well as I, as I am as well. Okay. And um, he was just like, you know, I'm so different outside of the ring. I'm very nice and calm yeah. and <laughs> mellow. And okay. inside there, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm evil, like okay. the devil. So yeah. that's why I got my name. Okay. So where do you train now? Uh, I train um, in Crystal Lake, Illinois um, okay. at, at Team Curran with um, okay. Jeff Curran. Yeah. He's a uh, big, big frog. frog. Yes, yeah. yes. So he's, he's an amazing coach. I All agree. the coaches there are amazing. I agree. I agree. Yes. I know him. And, I mean, I met him and he's very, very good. Yes, yeah. He's very knowledgeable to the sport. And this coaching, a lot of fighters actually don't make good coaches. Yeah. I'm not saying they're not out there, okay. but Jeff is, is great at the fighting aspect and the coaching aspect. So, and so it's nice because he can relate, yeah. you know, to, to you as a fighter, which a lot of coaches can't really relate. You yeah. don't necessarily know, like, what you're going through when you're cutting weight and whatnot. I am at, um, actually at two gyms right now. I am Vanderlei Silva's first female fighter that he's ever had. And I'm doing my stand-up there, and I'm doing my jiu-jitsu at a gym called Throwdown okay. in Las Vegas. So, just, um, how, how do you see Pat Curran going to Bellator? How do, oh, Pat Curran. Uh, um, sorry. Honestly, a lot of people, I think, underestimate Pat Curran. He yeah, came exactly. into Bellator as an underdog. Yeah. He beat Roger Cuerta. He beat Tony, um, I don't know. Michi? Michi? Ayada, or yeah. I don't know what his name yeah. is. But he's fighting Eddie Alvarez this week in Bellator. And I've been watching, and I've been training beside, you know, Pat Curran every day at okay. the gym. And he's a beast. Okay. And I think that he's going to shock the world. I think that maybe Eddie Alvarez is, is underestimating him a little bit. Cool. I think that the entire MMA community yeah, nobody will probably ever me. Exactly. Well, especially because Pat Curran, he's so shy and he's so humble, oh, so he's yeah. never really out there, like, you know, even like promoting himself or like pumping himself up, okay. you know, but so that's what I'm here for. <laughs> Outside, he is like the hot murderer, but when you see an interview, he is uh, I mean, very funny, very he is, Yeah, he's the most amazing man. Like, okay. when he fights, he's he's a completely different person. And yeah. outside of the ring, he's yeah. very compassionate, he's very sensitive, he cares about his fighters, he would give me the shirt off his back if I needed, and, okay. you know, he's put a lot of faith in me, okay. and, um, you know, I appreciate, you know, everything he has done so far. Cool. How does it feel to be not only one of the first and the top women in the world, I mean, because you're among the, the strongest women in the world, mm -hmm. because MMA at least make the stronger person, also the, the first woman to be on a video games? Um, I'm really excited about being, you know, one of the first females to ever be in a video yeah. game, just because it's, you know, it, it's groundbreaking, of course, and it, it's, you know, it's, you know, like our manager said, like, it's, it's like a trivia question, okay. like, someday, you know, someday down the road, people yeah. will ask, like, who are the very first two female fighters, yeah. you know, to ever be in a video game, and it's nice to be the first, because yeah. that, when you're the first at something, that means you're a pioneer, and that means that you, you go down in history, so years from now, like, people will be talking about yeah. it, so your name, like, will live on forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. For me, I feel it's like a dream come true. I have spent many hours and days in the gym, you okay. know, making no money fighting and, yeah. you know, making sacrifices with my child. I have a child, you know, yeah. bringing her to the gym with me every day. You know, we sacrifice a lot for the sport and I kind of find, feel like I'm getting paid back a little bit for it now because I'm the first 
one of the first females mm -hmm. to ever be in a video game. Okay, since you mentioned it, it in Italy we have uh, Alessio Sakara and his story is very touchy because he grew up in a, like, a poor, uh, in Rome, in not a very rich uh, environment, so he sold everything he had and he went to Brazil uh, to train and uh, to, to pay his bill and fight like in underground fighting and uh, I guess a lot of fighters has a very interesting story. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like a lot of um, fighters, like it takes a special person to be a fighter and yeah. for me I feel like I fought so much you know, in my life that the fighter that I am outside of the ring tra yeah. translates to the fighter that I'm inside of the ring. Okay. There's, there's no quit in me whatsoever, like I've had to kind of like you know, pay my dues in the sport, not only in the sport, but just okay. I've, I've kind of been, you know, on my own, like, my whole life. Like, if I ever wanted something, like, I've had to work really, really hard for it. So, I like, you know, it's, it's nice to hear, like, touching stories, but I, I, I feel like most fighters do have a story like that. Most fighters are fighter outside of the ring, which, which makes them fighter inside yeah. of the ring. Yeah, and for me, just the things that have happened to me in my life in the past couple years, there's, I feel there's no nothing that any girl could ever do to me inside a cage that's been harder than what my life has been. Okay. Like I lost my mother, you know, single mom, you know, I don't really have any family, okay. you know, so there's, for me, the fighting is the easy part. Like okay. life is okay. the hard part. Okay. I don't want to say good, but it's bad. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, yeah. 